Does Honda have an oil dilution problem? It wasn't too long ago that Honda and Toyota were names that were pretty much interchangeable due to their leadership and reliability. However, according to the latest article from Consumer Reports titled, Who Makes the Most Reliable Cars? Honda's rank is now number 12, which is lower than Nissan, Kia, Dodge, and Subaru. How can this be? In my 2019 and 2020 Honda CRV review videos, it seemed like every other comment is about oil dilution and people asking if it has been fixed. At first, it seems like it was just a few angry customers wanting to get the limelight, but now I'm noticing the same questions being asked over and over and over again. So does Honda have an oil dilution problem and has the reliability gone down overall because of it? Let me show you what I found. First of all, what is oil dilution? Rather than have me explain it, here is an explainer video from Honda themselves. You may notice the engine oil level reads above the full mark on the dipstick. What you're seeing is a normal occurrence with this engine. Your engine uses direct injection to spray fuel into the cylinder. During engine operation, a bit of that sprayed fuel can stick to the cylinder wall, travel down into the crankcase, and mix with the engine oil in the oil pan. Later, that mixed fuel in the pan typically vaporizes, gets directed back to the cylinder, and burned off. But when there's more fuel mixing with the engine oil than vaporizing, the oil can become diluted by the fuel. The added volume from the mixed fuel causes the level in the oil pan to rise, which you'll see when reading the dipstick. And upon research, this seems to be correct, that all turbo direct injection or indirect injection engines do suffer from some oil dilution, and this is normal. So why are people complaining about it? Well, excessive or abnormal oil dilution is the problem, and it causes the cabin to smell like gas, and there are also issues with drivability, and overall, it is not healthy for the engine. In 2018, Honda was prohibited from selling any more CRVs due to problems relating to cold climates. This caused Honda to recall over 350,000 CRVs. So, what was this cold climate engine problem? You guessed it, oil dilution. And was it only affecting CRVs in China? Apparently not. Because in 2018, Consumer Reports also picked up on this and received similar complaints with its own members and started digging into the matter. According to this article, Honda acknowledged the problem saying that it affects CRVs in extreme cold weather conditions combined with short intermittent driving. However, there are reports from the NHTSA database from customers that had the same issue that wasn't living in cold weather environments. About a year later, Honda responded with a service campaign and by extending warranty on more than 1 million CRVs and Civics that may have been affected by abnormal or excessive oil dilution. The extended warranty will give customers an extra year on powertrain components, six years with unlimited miles. Now, Honda continues to insist that issues related to abnormal or excessive oil dilution are rare, but they are just providing the service campaign and extended warranty for peace of mind. The coverage applies to all 2017 to 2018 CRVs and all 2016 to 2018 Civics. And this is only for the 1.5 liter turbo engine. So what was done with the service campaign exactly? Well, according to this, software updates to the transmission control module and fuel injection system. There was a replaced drain plug washer, climate control units in some cases, and I've read ECU flash in other cases, and lastly, a fresh oil change. After digging on the forums, it seems like some people who went through the service campaign started complaining about lower cabin heat. And some who have sent out their oil for testing afterwards still say there is an abnormal or excessive amount of gas in the oil. It's not everyone, but there are some that are still complaining about this. Scotty Kilmer, a mechanic for over 50 years and an avid YouTuber, created a video talking about this very topic. 
Today I'm going to talk about the oil dilution problems that exist in some modern Honda engines. Now as you can see here they call it Earth Dreams technology. And what it basically is will be shown when they take all these stupid beauty covers off and you can see what's going on with the car's fuel injection system. When you look here on top of the engine where the fuel injectors normally were on the intake it's gone. Instead the fuel line goes to this gigantic assembly here which is a high pressure fuel pump. This is called GDI gasoline engine for gasoline direct injection. This is the first model sold in the United States by Honda. It creates more horsepower, better gas mileage, but it does it at the expense of very high pressure. Now this makes the engines much more efficient, but these engines are having a problem with oil dilution. I'm changing the oil on this one. I can smell a reasonable amount of gasoline in it. It's being diluted with gasoline, obviously because of the design. Gasoline diluting the oil dilutes the ability of the oil to lubricate the engine, but it takes a long time to do damage, often long after the warranty period is up. You'd be really leery about buying one of these, especially this Earth Dream technology. But if you do own one of these, Take Scotty's advice. Use really high quality, pure synthetic oil and change it regularly. I wouldn't push it to 10,000 miles. I'm going to tell my customer here, change your oil every 5,000 miles on this baby. Since there haven't been any updates I've found on Google recently, I decided to reach out to Chris Martin himself, who is the main contact for safety, regulatory, and recalls. I asked about three things. First, if the oil dilution problem has been resolved. Second, if the 1.5 liter engines in the 2019 and 2020 CRVs and Civics have been serviced with a fix. And lastly, if the extended warranty applies to the 2019 and 2020 models. This is his answer in entirety. The product update and warranty extension only applies to the models and years that you reference. Newer versions or other models are not affected as they incorporated countermeasures into production. When you ask, is the oil dilution issue resolved, I worry you may share a similar misconception with some consumers, which is that any fuel slash oil dilution is abnormal. Truth is, all engines mix fuel and oil in the combustion chamber, causing some oil dilution as a normal part of the warm-up cycle, particularly with direct injection turbo engines, and some consumers will notice varying oil levels based on their drive cycle. This is not a problem, but many consumers are justifiably confused about that fact. Some may continue to complain if they find higher than expected oil levels on a dipstick, and they're welcome to visit a Honda dealership for confirmation that it's okay. Again, variation in oil level is okay and will not result in a problem for the vehicle. The product update addresses abnormal levels of oil dilution, which really only occurred in those models at extreme cold temperatures and after repeated very short drive cycles. Very few consumers in the U.S. actually experience abnormal oil dilution because of the necessary conditions above. Now, with the product update in place, the issue of abnormal oil dilution should be resolved and the warranty extension should provide peace of mind regarding any damage that may have occurred prior to the update. According to Chris, the abnormal oil dilution problem is rare and very few consumers actually experienced it. The product update should have resolved the issue on the recalled CRVs and Civics and the new ones already have it incorporated. Consumer Reports still recommends the 2020 Honda CRV as one of the top compact SUVs and sales are still climbing. And a hybrid Honda CRV is right around the corner. So to conclude, does Honda have an oil dilution problem? It appears they did, and the jury is still out if this is a continual problem for Honda or if it's limited to just a few. If you have experienced issues with abnormal or excessive oil dilution, please share your story in the comments below. Some of you guys may be wondering what you should do if you own a Honda CRV or Civic or any other Hondas with the 1.5 liter turbo engine. Experts say your best bet is to do regular oil changes and check your oil level often. If you have any questions, consult your local Honda dealerships for advice and recommendations. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel and check out these other videos.